Hi, I'm Tiffany, and this is Towering TBR. I am here to do the anti-TBR tag. I was tagged by Lauren over at Literally Low. I will link her in the description box below, also with the original creator as well. So, this is all about books that I don't want to read or am not interested in. And I am going to preface it by saying, these are just my opinions, reading is subjective, and if my thoughts don't align with yours, that's perfectly okay. So, let's get into it. The first question is, a popular book everyone loves that I have no interest in reading. And for me, I picked A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Um, I've seen the movie, or the TV series, and yeah, it ended quite terribly. And the books are not finished, so I will not be reading it. Uh, that's the same reason that I'm not picking up that The King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss is only two out of the three books are finished, and I will not pick it up since the series isn't finished. So, no interest in reading Game of Thrones books. The second question is, what's a classic or classic author that I don't want to read? And I picked uh, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. I started reading this several years ago and was just so bothered by reading from the perspective of a pedophile. It was just, I couldn't do it. I, any type of sympathy that was created for the protagonist, I just, I didn't like it. So I will not be reading Lolita. What's a problematic author that you have no intent on reading? And apparently there are quite a lot of problematic authors. I don't always stay up to date on those things, but I have heard Colleen Hoover writes really toxic traits in her relationships and downright abusive stuff that she normalizes. And yeah, I, I don't want to read stuff like that. So Colleen Hoover is an author that I won't pick up. What is an author you have read a few books from but will not continue on? Um, this took me a while because I either read one book by a person, love it or hate it, and then I don't tend to read them again. So to find an author I'd read more than once was quite difficult. But I narrowed it down and decided on the Wayward Children series um, by Sean and McGuire. I read the first five books. I think there are eight out now. And I just, I stopped enjoying them. I feel like because they're novellas, she has to kind of rush the plot um, or kind of even skip over it entirely. And yeah, novellas in general are not really for me. I don't feel like there's enough character development, but after five, I was like, mm, this is, I'm not going to read this anymore. So it's just not for me. What is a genre you have no interest in or tried to get into but couldn't? I have quite a few answers for this. So the first thing I thought of was war fiction. I do not like to read stories about war, but I will read them in science fiction and fantasy. So I felt like that wasn't a great answer. But then I thought, I don't like surrealist books. I am fine with magic, but explain it. <laughs> like, I don't want it to just be trippy. Um, so I don't like surreal stuff. And I also really don't like short stories. I find that a lot of the short stories collections I've picked up have had really surreal elements and I didn't care for them. However, I would love to get into short story collections and have, on occasion, really enjoyed some. I read The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filia and really liked that, although those are all realistic. And I also read Exhalation Stories by Ted Chiang, and those are science fiction, but I really like that as well. So if you have any favorite short story collections that you think could 
turn me into a fan? I mean, let me know in the comments down below. What is a book you have bought that you will never read? I thought that that was a really strange question because I don't tend to spend money on books if I don't want to read them. However, I did come up with an answer. I bought Catch Me If You Can by Frank Abagnale, um, and it has a movie adaptation of the same name. In the movie and the book, the premise is that while it sounds really wild and hairy, um, this young man did pull off all of these, like, cons. And I thought, that sounds like a really fascinating life. I want to read this memoir. And it was very much a, this is nonfiction. But a book came out last year, and the article about the book basically debunked that he didn't actually do these things, that this is bits and pieces that he stole from other people's actions, and that this was probably his biggest con yet, is believing that he's this great con man. And I was like, you know what? If this is fiction. I don't really want to pick it up. I, I don't like the fact that I thought it was nonfiction and it's not. So this, not for me. Also, this is a really ugly cover. <laughs> So it's not like I'm really missing out. So, oh, I will link the article down below if you want to confirm that someone has debunked that book, if you're interested in it. What is the series you have no interest in reading or a series you have started and DNF'd? I'm actually going to give you two answers for this. A series I have no intention to read is any of the Sarah J Mass stuff. Like, I know it's super duper popular on booktube, but I don't think it's for me. I, yeah, I just don't have any interest in it. And the, the series that I have DNF'd, ooh, this could be controversial. Um, I DNF'd The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I think I've read two of the books. And I just, I had no interest in reading any further. And I don't know why, it just really, I just didn't enjoy it. So I have DNF that one. The last question is, what's a new release that you have no interest in reading? And for me, that is the book, The Maid by Nita Prose. Um, I was actually kind of interested in hearing that this is a murder mystery from the perspective of an autistic, or if not like spelled out autistic, like a neurodivergent character. And I was really excited about that, but I've just heard so many things about the uh, neurodivergent representation isn't very good. And I, I even read the first couple of pages just to to get a taste of the writing, and I found her character to be just a caricature, like not a real person. I couldn't believe that this was a real person. And yeah, so not interested in reading that. But while this was kind of a negative video, it I think it will help you to know what kinds of stuff I'm not interested in because then you know to get that content somewhere else. That's fine. Okay. So I will tag some people down below and yeah, let me know if you think I should give something another chance. I may, I may not. It's just see how convincing you can be. <laughs> but you can also just tell me what you thought or, or books you're not interested in that seem to be really popular or prolific. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Bye.